player through the hole, one goal from the start To dominate the art of the black and blue And watch your Super Bowl dreams till they all come true I want you to think about all those mean people. They're going to be your tackling fuel. Tackling fuel. I used to be able to throw a pigskin a quarter mile. I'm going to execute a button hook pattern super slow mo. You playing the foosball behind my back? How much you want to make a bet I can throw a football over the mountains? What do you know? They're little footballs. <laughs> Laces out. Left side! Strong side! Left side! Strong side! Left side! Strong side! Left! It is time for the Sports for Shorts 2015-2016 NFL preview. And we might as well start with the AFC East and the Super Bowl champions, the New England Patriots, who I think, after Tom Brady got his suspension uh, nullified, I think they're set for another AFC East division championship. That will be their 13th since Tom Brady took over as the quarterback in New England. But this division did get better, ladies and gentlemen, so don't sleep on the rest of the teams. I do think the Patriots will win this division Closely followed by the Miami Dolphins, then the Jets, and the Bills. So I have Patriots, Dolphins, Jets, Bills. I think the Dolphins are actually the most improved team in this division. They had the big signing of Ndamukong Sue this offseason to beef up that defense. Uh, and really, I mean, they bring over Kenny Stills from the Saints, Greg Jennings in a trade with Mike Wallace, which I think the Dolphins actually uh, ended up victorious in that. And they also bring in Jordan Cameron, the former Browns tight end, who uh, worked some magic last year. So Tannehill now has some weapons. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I do think they are the most improved team in this division. The biggest losses came in New England. You know, the Super Bowl champions could not retain – enough of their free agents, mostly on the defensive side. You start with the big man in the middle, Vince Wilfork. That was a big loss. He goes to Houston, and you lose Darrell Revis to the rival New York Jets, returning to his uh, his home team, if you will. They also lose Brandon Browner on the other side, so this defense is a little shaky going into the season. I think the Patriots, out of the AFC East teams, certainly – are going to have to cope with the biggest losses. I think the Bills still have the best defense in this division, and the Patriots still have the best offense. Uh, so we'll see how that Patriots defense holds up. I do think they win this division, but uh, you could have a couple couple wild card contenders. Um, you know, the Jets getting some big offseason additions. Brandon Marshall, uh, namely, they also bring in Ryan Fitzpatrick to. Uh, Really, I mean, temporarily replace Geno Smith, who got clocked in the face and will be out for uh, a number of games this season. You look at the Bills bringing in LaShawn McCoy. They also bring in Percy Harvin. And I mentioned that was this is the best defense in this division still, even though they lost Kiko Alonso, that uh, big middle, middle linebacker. But he was out for, for most of the season last year, so I don't think that's necessarily a huge uh, loss. Other new additions to the AFC East uh, is Stephen Ridley. I guess not a new addition, but Stephen Ridley going to the Jets. Uh, I think the Jets' offense is, is pretty improved. They did lose Michael Vick, who signed with the Steelers. Uh, but Brandon Marshall is a big weapon, and we'll see if Tyler, or excuse me, if Ryan Fitzpatrick can uh, work some magic there. Jets have a new coach. Bills have a new coach, Rex Ryan staying in the AFC East and going up to Buffalo. But, uh, again, I think this, this division will be a little bit more competitive. We'll see. But I got Patriots, Dolphins, Jets, Bills. 
May the Schwartz be with you.